Is Thursday, 30th of March, 30th of March 2017. Oh, March has got 31st. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go to see the specialist. Uh, yesterday, I, I, I ate like, uh, I don't know, it's, I ate lots of, uh, all right, I don't know if I'm, lots of emotional eating. Lots of emotional eating. And I think my weight sort of went up a bit and I kind of low. I feel low. Every time I'm sort of banging stuff because I remember when I <clears throat> this is a video, whenever I take that foundation and uh, put it on the desk, it just goes dunk dunk like a loud noise. So um, uh, it looks weird. It looks weird. Oops, that must have made a lot of noise. Got lots of pimples everywhere. It's like, why do I have lots of pimples? Uh, so I'm gonna. I've got to see the specialist about my anal fissure problem. Oh, see, that must have made such a loud noise. Whatever it is. The boring makeup. The boring. Uh, I think I'll upload this to my. Uh, backup channel as a private vlog so now I don't have to say anything basically I'm talking to myself I'm talking to myself mm. I don't need to get another electrolysis to clean my very pain. I hate that. Why do I have such a sad face? I've got a sad face. So tired. So tired. I want to get some audiobooks. Maybe that'll cheer me up. Mm. Shopping therapy. <laughs> I buy audiobooks to cheer me up. Oh, I buy audiobooks to cheer me up. to go to the doctor and explain to him um, I'm trans I got <laughs> oh then he's, he'd be like ah oh, not a problem I, I see lots of trans people what what does that mean what does it, what does it mean 
explain, please? I really hate these stupid hairs around here. I really, really hate them. I guess I better make that a point in this thing. I absolutely do not like these things. Spend so much time on this. <sighs> mm, if I'll, uh, maybe I'll upload it to my main channel. <laughs> I'm so I'm so uh, I'm a bit indecisive. Oh, um, yeah, I was I was listening to uh, an audio book, and you know I have extremely low self-esteem. I've got all the symptoms of someone who has low self-esteem. And one of the problems with people who have low self-esteem is, uh, I mean, the audio book I was listening to, it's, it's called. Uh, I mean, it, it's um, it's also. Uh, it's got also got to do with other abuse, childhood ne neglect as well. It's like you have to, you lack the capacity to delay gratification. And if you lack the capacity to, de to delay gratification, it's hard for you to set goals and um, discipline yourself to achieve long-term goals because you're very impatient. You like taking this short, you know, short way. And uh, that means you might be an underachiever or, you know, in life. So, um, I, I don't think I was always like that, but I've noticed that recently, like, you know, this last decade or as my mental health has, you know, has progressively deteriorated, um, I do find it very hard to delay, like uh, set long-term goals and achieve them and discipline myself. Uh, that has to do with uh, low self-esteem because if you have uh, a good self-esteem, um, you don't need the the thing to give you the fix. You know, you don't need <clears throat> because you have a an internal sense of self-worth. So you don't need some kind of a thing like to give you, make you happy right now because you already are internally content. So you can uh, spend time working on uh, progressively uh, improving yourself and working towards long-term goals because you don't need to achieve success now. You know, I think I explained that. Um, so that was an interesting thing about <coughs> having poor self-esteem. It's also like a childhood emotional neglect as well. It's, um, you know, all these things are sort of related. Uh, oh, Jesus. Um, I guess I'll move my lipstick here. smell anything in it. This doesn't have much of a smell. Some lipstick they, they can smell them. This one's like no smell. Like if I smell this one, this one's like 
This, this smells of uh, a, a green chili. It has to, it used to have a stronger smell. Even my nose is blocked, I don't know. But um, I used to always, uh, this lipstick, uh, it reminds me, the smell reminds me of a, a, a parrot, a green parrot. And it's eating a, a chili or something. It's like that kind of smell. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Uh. <sighs> yeah. So yeah, a lot of stuff to work on. Lots of uh, things to work on myself. And, uh, Oh, you know, I know. I'll just, I'll just try and do what I can. I will try and do what I can. So, sometimes it's like I see these videos and these women, they have such long hairs. I go, oh my god, how the hell do you have... I just get so jealous. And uh, my mom told me, like, uh, in order to get long, apparently there's this... She, she, like, when she was younger, um, they were... Uh, some people were concerned about the fact that her hair wasn't growing that much or something and then she she ate she started eating this kind of uh, leaves of some fruit some I mean not fruit uh, some plant and then apparently that got her hair to grow so I don't know uh, apparently that plant is in the backyard but I don't know if I feel like eating that then to me I think this is this is my diet is not consistent you know lack of consistency in the diet and uh, oh well, there goes the light <sighs> holy shit that is, uh, that is so dark uh, yeah it's raining it's uh, raining Ooh, shit uh, let's see if I put this light on Bedroom light. Yeah, this is the bedroom light. Um, yeah, I get very insecure about my shoulder. I feel like the shoulder. It's not. It's, I, I've seen women with, you know, shoulders. They have shoulders, but um, I feel like this area. It just looks a bit too big for me. Um, I think it's becoming slimmer. Uh, over the years, I've noticed that it's becoming more and more slimmer. Um, so I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that when I get my weight down, uh, you know, to where I want it to be, something like 120 pounds or something, and um, I don't know, and then I can, uh, I don't know, maybe then my my sh my top area like it, it won't be so big or whatever, and uh, that might be nice. Okay, so it's 10.58 a.m. My appointment is at 11.45 and the uh, the hospital, it's just like 10 minutes away, so it's not that far. Uh, Mom's going to drop me and then she's going to pick me up. Um, oh yeah, audiobooks. I was thinking maybe I'll get uh, Herodotus. I have the his Herodotus' histories. Uh, I, I remember reading it for a while. I'm going to read a bit of it. Uh, and also uh, the Edward Gibbons the decline and fall of the Roman Empire I have Dante's the divine comedy so I have it in a nice book um, uh, yeah, that's interesting that book right you know about the sins and all that um, but I think I'll get the uh, history Herodotus you know, I, I, I first heard of Herodotus when I was seeing the English patient, and I think that's when they they, they mentioned Herodotus in that. I was like, oh, it's like the father of history or something. Uh, yeah. So anyway, hopefully the uh, you know I hope hopefully it's not too serious or you know my problem. <laughs> I hope it's not too serious. Anyway. Oh, it's 11 a.m. What the hell? Uh, yeah. uh, this is my outfit. 
Yeah, not very. Didn't put a lot of work into it. We're tired. We're a bit tired. I gotta go. I got the referral in my bag, and uh, uh, and um, my luck is raining. Alright, I'll be going now. It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> so, finished the appointment. Uh, he said everything was okay. Nothing to worry. Uh, well, he said that if the. Uh, Problem Brew comes back again and stays for over six weeks to see him again. They say it should be okay. Um, to treat this condition, you change your diet, uh, drink lots of water, uh, laxatives if necessary, and uh, that's it. So, I'm tired. I'm gonna go home, call my mom. Better go home now. Well, I must say, the doctor was very professional. Uh, I mentioned I'm trans, and he didn't even blink an eye. <laughs> he said yes. Uh, I think maybe my sheet had the information, so he was very professional. Very good. Very good.